Today, we are going to show you how to make a yuan xiao or tang yuan. So here today, we have David, who is not a cook, but is Chinese. And also has myself, Amy, who I do cook, but don't make cooked Chinese food. So we're going to have an adventure and see how it goes. Okay, so we're going to start off with roasting black sesame seeds. And we're also going to try another fun few ingredients here. Slivered almonds and walnuts. Put a little bit of sesame oil. You can either dry, roast, or with some oil. We are going to try some oil. We're heating this pan up to medium heat in order to roast our filling here. And we just want to make sure that it doesn't burn. To get a sesame. We got this sesame from a Chinese food store. And it's a black one. Black tastes better than the white one. So I think the sesame here is getting a little close to done. I know you can't smell it there on the other side of the computer, but it is smelling great. I just love the smell of sesame, don't you? Excellent, so now that we've roasted our sesame, I am going to pour it into a bowl so that we have it ready to go for later. Next, we're going to do the same thing for the almonds. I'm again going to use just a dab of sesame oil, protect the pan, plus it smells delicious. And here are the slivered almonds. You can hear a nice little crackle. We know the pan is hot this time. And I'm going to keep stirring these almonds for a while. And David is going to show you how to grind up your sesame seeds. I'm going to show you four different ways to grind the sesame. The first way is using a rolling pin. See, this is a rolling pin. You just need to smash it. See, there's some oil there. So this is very effective. See? The second way is... Use a mortar and install. Here we have a makeshift pestle. But really anything hard will do in order to grind up. The most traditional way and the way people have been making Make. food for centuries. So that's the second way. The third way is I use a, a coffee grinder. See? Easy. It's the easiest. Finally, we use aluminum foil and cover sesame and then just use a hammer. Four different ways, depends on what you have. Grind our almonds. I'm just putting them in the smaller setting of our food processor. Did you hear that noise change? When you hear that noise change, it meant that everything is now ground up into these little fine pieces. While you were grinding the sesame seeds, I also roasted the walnuts, and so we are going to do them next. You can fill a yuan xiao or tang yuan with many different things, the most common being sesame with combinations of nuts. But I also have some chocolate chips dashed in the back there, because I want to experiment with that. It looks like our stash of walnuts got a couple of cashews in them. These are all unsalted nuts. Two different ways to do it. I'm going to demo one way. Make a, a dough. What type of flour is that? Gluten. It's glutinous rice flour. Now we call it sticky flour. Just try to make a dough equal size, less than one inch, maybe between three quarter to one inch size. Preparing the filling, usually the traditional Chinese use a lard. This is a lard that can be used for yuan xiao. Lard is pig oil, it's not healthy, so my wife doesn't like me to use it. So instead, I'm using a butter and avocado. They both have a fat, but it's somewhat healthier. So I'm trying this butter now. Sesame in here, put a little bit of butter to mix with sesame. And then you're going to put inside, uh, remember you really need to seal very well, otherwise it's going to leak. I am making this pretty wrong. David here wanted to try using avocado instead of butter. It's a little far out there. But it is a fatty fruit. I'm just not sure how, what cooked or boiled avocado tastes like. But we'll try and we'll find out and let you guys know. Trying some avocado. Well, I will have a little bit other kind of a material. This is a walnut and some oil. Mix sesame with butter, so it's like this, and we'll add a little bit of sugar. 
depends on how much oil you have. Mine is I don't put it too much. Pretty much pasty. So you can use the paste and make it a little bit of ball. But if you have a lot of oil, then you can put this in the refrigerator. And when it's hard, you can take it out and cut it. Just took this out from a freezer. It's frozen. And I'm going to cut into equal size. So this is one way you can do it. And of course, the other way you just use hand to roll a ball like this. So this is the dough, it's pretty soft. And then after you cut this, you put the filling in. See, make sure the dough is soft enough, almost squishy. So as long as the dough is soft, it will make it very easy, just drop you're feeling again. Okay, I'll show you a different way to make the Yuan Xiao. Start again with the sesame, and then I have some other variations for you. Here you see I have about half a tablespoon of melted butter in a bowl, and I'm going to add in a couple ounces of sesame. I'm also going to add in a couple ounces of, let's make this one, sesame walnut. And I'm also going to do the same for the sugar and mix that all together. Here I'm only making a small amount because I want to show you how to make a variety of different types of yuan xiao. Yuan xiao is a term that's from northern China and tang yuan is a term from southern China. As far as I know, they're pretty much the same, but if you know differently, I would love to know. Please do let us know. I'm going to take a tray of glutinous rice flour. I'm going to take a, so an amount of this filling here and I'm going to drop it into the rice flour. I'm going to keep doing that. I could, that seems like about a good amount, maybe half a tablespoon there. Our last bit there. And I am going to shake these around in the flour. You could roll the filling into a ball beforehand. That just seemed a little tricky there, but now that these are nice and coated in flour. Okay, so here you see I have a small plate of water and I'm going to roll this coated yuan xiao in the water and put it back into the rice flour. And I'm going to do that with each of these. There we go. And so that is going to allow each of these balls to pick up more flour. And we're going to repeat this about five times for each yuan xiao or until we're happy with the amount of flour that we've gotten on them. Okay, we rolled these up into big balls. And so now I am going to try another type of filling. Here we, use, we have the same half tablespoon of butter. This time I'm going to use Boone's almond as well as the sesame and the sugar. From there, I'm going to repeat with this additional filling. I'm going to scoop it up, roll this into balls, and then drop it into my tray. Okay, so here, the, our final step is going to be to boil a pot of water. You can see there, it's already nice and hot. I am going to drop in, these are the sesame walnut tang yuan that we made. I'm just going to drop those in. We're going to keep cooking these until they float to the top. Here you can see that the yuan xiao are floating, so we're going to add a cup of cold water. And we're going to cook this for another three minutes. Okay, and both way actually help very well. There's not even one leaking. See, this will be what looks inside. This is a sesame. You can see it's a black. Tastes very good. With uh, butter, almost no difference compared to lard. I melted some chocolate chips. I've put in a spoonful of almond. And so we're going to try this as a filling as well and let you know how it is. Wow, this is a chocolate. And this is the almond and walnut and honey. Delicious.